And rush of a good bit of can show and jay. Well, hashin ma. And you be shin your good bit of program och. Leshim agus katriana. We're going to start by looking at ways of telling or asking people to do things. Ahim. Sushis ek je woord. Gaf de vierge gaat trainen. Wat heb je mijn bier gezien? Gaf de vierge. Ehim. Sushis. Ik is gaf de vierge. Gaan jullie mij kiori bier? Sushis. Ik is gaf de vierge. Ham is ski. Gaf de vierge. Ehim. Sushis. Sit down. Sui shears. Can show. Sui shears. Gav to vieg. Take your food. Can show. Gav to vieg. Sui means sit, and gav means take, though you wouldn't always use, use them with such force. I'd invite someone in by saying, Hikistai, come in. Sui shears, sit down, and I might also add, Kud yirth the hotha, put off your coat. Kud yirth the hotha. Can show, could Yet to hota. Yet of you. Could yet put off you. Could yet to hota put off your coat. A heem. Cushiers and television, high raw art. Yeah. Cushiers and television, high raw art. Clashkilor. Ha e raw art. It's too loud. Can't show. Ha e raw art. Raw. Art can mean too loud or too high. You've probably come across art meaning high in place names. Here, art means loud. Ahim. Shug. Kurshiers and Gath. Kurjeer de Gorte. Suishiers. Agus Gaf de Vierg. Agus all them banya. Here. Oon. Kursiers en gat. Kerstkleur. Ja, kurjeer te gaten. Kerstkleur. Drie sushiers, kerstweer, agus al van banje. Kerstkleur. Agus, kurt je een televisie? Ook kurt je een televisie? Kurt je een televisie? Put off the television. Kan zo. Kurt je een televisie? Could ye on television? Put off the television. Now, what about the negative? Don't. You simply put na in front of the verb. Sui shears, sit down. Na sui shears, don't sit down. Let's hear how it works. 
Gostei. Fez carmã. Na Coria de Rautenchin. Há noite tu lhes. Couldn't show it. Na Sushi é sinchin. Oh, há noite tu lhes. Sushi é sinchou. Na Aventishin, há noite tu lhes. Han är fallad. När fag skin. Fag, leave. Fag skin, leave that. Na fag skin, don't leave that. That's the commanding form of the verb. Sui, sit, gav, take, could. Put. This is known as the imperative of the verb. The imperative of the verb is very important in Gaelic because from it you can work out the other tenses. Today we'll show you how to form the past tense. So we'll start with the verb could put. Ahim. Shuch. Could ye and Salas. Che? Could ye and Salas. Hold me yet and solve us. J. Hold me yet and solve us. Could, which is put, becomes hoid. I've put. And similarly, gav, meaning take, becomes. Gav, I took. Ahim. Shuch. Could Aaron solve us? Could me Aaron solve us? Gav the vanya. Gav me more vanya. Oh, it's could me yeah and solve us. Gav me more. Vanya, I took my milk. Gav, take, becomes gav in the past tense. I took. If a verb begins with a vowel, we used all, drink, as an example. Then, instead of aspiration, you put dh apostrophe before the verb. In other words, all becomes Gov. Something similar happens with verbs beginning with F. We used fark as an example. When fark is aspirated, it becomes ark. In other words, the F is silent. Fark becomes ark. So you treat it as if it began with a vowel, and the past tense becomes gark. A little gold coffee. Gold me and coffee. Can show. Gold me and coffee. Gold me and coffee. Hami fall off. A bite up. Shug. Gaku to sporan. J. Gak u to sporan. Gak u to sporan. Can show? Gak u to sporan. There are several irregular verbs in Gaelic. In English, the verb to go is irregular. You say, I'm going, but the past tense is, I went. Similarly, in Gaelic, you say, ha mi atol, but the past tense, I went, is chai. Chai mi gachi, I went home. Catch will my dad. Chai gachi. Chai 
يا اخي خاي خاي يا اخي خاي اي يا اخي شي ونت هوم كان شو خاي اي يا اخي خاي ماي رات كاخي اخاتريانا راي مي تري كوبن ان كوفي جي راي نيو راي مي تري كوبن ان كوفي Rain me, I made. Rain me, coffee. I made coffee. I guess they have made it. Courier to Hota, I guess six years. A Katrina Shag Hanik Mira. Co Hanik Hanik Mira. Hanik Mira. Hanik Mira. Myrat came, or Myrat has come back. Hanik, Myrat, can show. When you want to ask a question, you put an do before the past tense. An do huidu. Did you put an do huidu a mach an cat? Did you put out the cat? And for the negative, you put ha to, ha to hud me. I didn't put him. Do you make an cat? And to hud u a mach an cat. Him. Do you make an cat? Ha to hud me make an cat. Ha to hud mi a mach an kat. Can sho. Ha to hud mi a mach an kat. Ahim. Che. And the hud mach an kat. Ga toch hoort me maken gaat. Ga toch hoort me maken gaat. Ietsjes. Een rasjef kopier er kan zo een rijer. Kleva. The language sequences today are from Sky. We'll concentrate on the past tense and on asking questions. Dat ik me sparen aan de schacht. Kijk. Oh, kan je wel? Goed, misschien is het zo. Tafelacht. Kan je wel een pen selecten? Kan je dat zeggen? Probeer het te doen. Ja. Kan je het goed doen? Well, can you let Shinna in issue? Shinna. Oh, I'm a dully. A feature of Highland life is the system of land tenure known as crofting. No crofter is typical, as the use he makes of his croft will depend on his age, his family, quality of the land, and the size of his croft. John McIsaac is a crofter in South Uist. The Uists have been described as a series of lochs linked by small clods of land, and that's not really far from the truth. If it weren't for a series of causeways and bridges, North Uist, South Uist, Benbecula, Grimsey and Balasher would still be individual islands. But despite all that water, the Uists depend on crofting for their basic livelihood. John McIsaac may be a postman for part of his day, but he is a crofter most of the time. Like John, most crofters depend on some other form of employment to make an adequate living for their families. The vast majority of the 15,000 crofts in the Highlands are too small to provide a full-time wage. The land is harsh and the weather is hostile, and to make anything grow in this environment is a major achievement. 
Crofting agriculture in the U.S. is still heavily dependent on traditional methods. Why import artificial fertilizers when all that seaweed, rich in nutrients that the land needs, is washed up on your doorstep? In any case, exorbitant freight rates make importing anything but the barest essentials from the mainland an extremely uneconomic business. So here, the crofting way of life still lingers, more important in social terms, perhaps, than it is as agriculture. And the young still learn the skills that previous generations have adapted to the environment. Old-fashioned it may be, but then a spade can still go where a tractor can. The tiny patches of arable land between the rocks don't really lend themselves to modern agricultural methods. So the handrake still holds the harrow at bay. And the plough has still not taken over completely from the dibber. <laughs> Crofting is really an occupation for all the family, and all the family have a part to play in it. There are no strict lines of job demarcation here, though by tradition certain operations tend to be left to certain people. The men might cut the peats, but the women folk will help to stack them. And certainly no man worth his salt would be seen feeding the hens, or even milking the cows, though the boys in the family will drive the cattle to and from the pastures each day. So far, woman's lib has made little impact in the crofting world. But slowly, even crofting has to change, though more in terms of its legal tenure than in its agricultural practice. A croft, and a croft, remember, is the crofter's land, not his house, a croft's been described as a piece of land surrounded by legislation. The crofter doesn't actually own the land. He rents it from a landlord. But he does have certain rights over it. For instance, he has the right to pass it on to succeeding generations of his family, and not even the landlord can gainsay him. Three years ago, new legislation was introduced which gave the crofter the right, if he so wished, to buy the site of his croft house and his in-by land. That's the fenced-in arable portion of the land, for 15 times the annual rental. And annual rentals are usually fairly small, normally not more than 20 or 30 pounds. Meanwhile, he would retain his existing grazing rights on the hill ground, which he normally shares with his neighbours. So far, not more than a handful of crofters have taken advantage of these new laws as good an illustration as any of how slowly this traditional way of life accepts change. Agricultural go-getters may scoff, but perhaps the crofter has a point. Crofting, after all, is as much about the social structure of the community as it is about agriculture or economics. And a social structure that has stood the test of time is something you meddle with at your peril. Anisha Nepanachan, Parsch a hawk. Ha yain ek and ju. Tai a house. Ek and thai at the house or at home. Look out for ro art, too high or too loud, and the past tense of three irregular verbs. Chai, went. Chai ni amach, I went out. Hanik came. Hanik ian gachi, ian came home. And rain, made. Rain u gle fa, you did very well. Throw the sky, Ian. 
Han tæsch ja ua was ich vor. Sie schießen schon nicht, ja? Tauch mich, hab ich kerst gelohrt. Kimmer hat doch Hasien. Hanne litt dann. Du nien da es alles der. Nun mir. Schau den Peper ur i ein. Gitt er weg. Hei, Bia. An Tölatte. Stöl, hei, ua was ich mau. Hör alles der so es. Den ju kleva alles der. Den ich kuppe de walles in de Maro. Kur hier me herkitsch. Am ju am sach bla. Ha? Jun mi nares. Kur sonne gun ju alles der. Hau wa ma hau na nis. Ha mi ski eli. Hau i ein. Troet alles der. Goed meer de voorste. Kaartje. Schöne. Ga je een cheeskje om aan wat zeg maar. Ciao. Hoe je er kaarten iedereen. Aan mij toe lig. Goed meer in China. Wil u koper in Ju? Wil u koper fesker? Kaartje wil hem skiën, Alister. Aan jullie zeggen. Wij akket in Ju. Kaartje doet graag koei. Na kort te gassen er een boot. Hou je toelig. Schön, schön skien a gesporke ian. Skien ian, fork ian, io skien, bat ian, kar ian. Alles der. Peper ian. Alles der an de gun jun dares. Kato gun, dörn jene. Che hau gieri? Ami gieri isch gepehe tafelet. Kan maar dat al af. Och, hang je niet dan, hè? Hang ik je en ga ik je in Ju? Hij is ook hem. Bijzien keert vind je het skilling. Ach, kan je wel maar sparen? Ga ik niet aan ze woeien? Oh, hij kerst kan je al. Gaat ik ook? Zo. Sparen taarsting. Schau alle getrennen. Geht der Werk. Hey, wie er geht. Gut, er hat mich. Hast du nicht mehr eine Bonne zu tasten, wenn sie wohnen ist? Da geht. Gut, er hat mich. Schau. Tafel. Hast du nicht mehr eine Bonne zu tasten, wenn sie wohnen ist? Da geht. Gut, er hat mich. Schau. Tafel. Hast du nicht mehr eine Bonne zu tasten, wenn sie wohnen ist? Da geht. Gut, er hat mich. Hast du nicht mehr eine Bonne zu tasten, Alistair, doen je naar eens. Alistair, niet doen je naar eens. Alistair, faction. Alistair, troot. Alistair, kun jij een salus zijn? Kun jij een salus? Kun jij een salus? Alistair, kun jij een kasset? Hij het ro aard. Han jelle roart, hij kerst kuljor. Alister, han jel i aan kama. Hij is akken. En je, en je we maar ook han jel kala. Han jel i aan kuma. Alister. Ham is je falaf. Na falaf is je hij kerst kuljor. Ham i een falaf. Ham i ski. Chemische.
in this program, we had verbs such as sui, sit, gav, take, in the sense of receive, accept, kuir, which means put, and fark, leave. We'll hear most of them again in this excerpt from the first sketch. Ahim, sui shears ekkevort. Gav to vierge khatriana. Sit down. Sui shears. Can show. Sui shears. Gav to Take your food. Can show. Gav to a heim shug. Kursius and Gath, Kurjet the Halter, Suishius Agus Gaff the Vierg, Agus all them banya. Here? Oon Kursius and Gath. Kerskulor. Ga, Kurjet the Halter. Kerst kulor. Three sushiers, gafta vierg, agus all them banya. Kerst kulor. Agus, could ye and television. Oh, could ye and television? Could ye and television. Put off the television. Can show. Could ye and television. We had several usages of could. Could ye, for instance, is put off. Could yeth is put off you. And finally, could shears is put down. Could, fark, sui, and gav are examples of the command or order form of the verb. The correct grammatical term for them is the imperative. You don't need to remember that but it is important to remember the verbs themselves. If you know this form of the verb, you can usually work out any of the other tenses. The past tense, for example, is formed by changing the first letter of the command form by aspiration. So, kuid becomes huir, sui becomes hui, and gav changes to gav. Let's look at the explanations for that again. At the end of this excerpt, we have examples of the past tense of a verb beginning with a vowel, all, and of one beginning with F, fark. Could ye and solve us? Could me ye and solve us? J. Could me ye and solve us? Could, which is put, becomes chuit, I've put. And similarly, gav, meaning take, becomes gav, I took. Gav the man. Gav mi mo vanya. Gav mi mo vanya. I took my milk. Gav take becomes gav in the past tense. I took. If a verb begins with a vowel, we used all, drink, as an example. Then instead of aspiration, you put dh apostrophe before the verb. In other words, all becomes gol. Something similar happens with verbs beginning with F. We used fark as an example. When fark is aspirated, it becomes ark. In other words, the F is silent. Fark becomes ark. So you treat it as if it began with a vowel, and the past tense becomes Yark. A little coffee. 
Gold, me and coffee. Can show. Gold, me and coffee. Gold, me and coffee. Hami falaf. Am I right? Shug? Gaku to sporan. G? Gaku to sporan. Gak u to sporan. Can show? Gak u to sporan. The question form of the past tense has an do before the verb. The negative has ha do before it. Let's try it again. An do hudu mach an kart. And the negative ha do hud mi mach an kart. We also had in program eight three examples of the past tense of irregular verbs. Let's look at them again. Catch film I that. She went home. Can show. Rain me three coupon and coffee. Rain me, I made. Rain me coffee. I made coffee. A catriona. Shag. Harnick, Myra. Co Harnick. Harnick, Myra. Harnick, Myra. Harnick, Myra. Myra came. Or Myra has come back. Galav Mairat would mean Mairat went away. And I'm afraid I have to do just that now. Fisker Mahlert.